Hey, my loves, today I'm going to show you how to process some live quail. There's going to be two parts to this. The first part is processing them, and then I'm going to show you in part two how to cook them, honey. So stay tuned. I'll be back. <music> Doing something a little different. I'm, you know, so this might be a little rough for y'all, but if not, you could bypass the parts, you know. I'm gonna show y'all how to process quail. I do raise my own quail in my garage, okay? Um, of course, we're talking about you could have quail for meat or for eggs or both. Okay, and these are what you call Caternus quail. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to show you how to, basically I'm gonna cook them. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what y'all need. So of course you need your quail, okay? And the way I'm gonna do it, guys, is quick and it's painless, straight to the point, okay? All right, my love, so right here, now, I like to have the skin on. If you don't want to have the skin on, you don't have, you could skip this part and just do it without this. But the reason why I have a little bit of water here, I don't want it boiling, but I want it hot enough for me to be able to take the feathers off. Some ice here that after I finish doing that, I'm gonna put them in some ice. And I have a bowl with a bag. This is for me to put the parts that we're taking out, you know, and so forth. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. I need a pair of shears. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all how to do this quickly. Okay. I have one of my quails here, okay? You can't hesitate when you do this because you wanna make this quick and simple, okay? Hold them firm, okay? And we're just gonna go right here to kill them, okay? But I'm gonna put this right here so it can catch all the blood and so forth, okay? So, you're gonna put it right here, okay? And you're gonna make it nice and quick. Okay, you gotta hold it firm. <laughs> oh yeah. That was my fault for not holding it firm enough because they're gonna still be jumping at you. Okay, in about 30 seconds. It's already dead, don't worry, it was painless. Get yourself a nice pair of shears. Okay, and after it stops. You'll notice that it stops. Okay, and this is what I'm using the bag for to catch all the blood, and I gotta show you how to gut them and so forth. I'm gonna put them in this ice, okay? And I'm gonna take it, put it in some ice, all right? Just like that, set that to the side, and we're gonna move on to the next. Okay, here we go again, all right? Take it, make it really quick, okay? Just get a position, hold them firm, and snip. Okay, about 30 seconds and they'll still gonna be sharing. At first I was really scared to do this, but I got used to it. I'm not gonna lie to you, you know, but when you gotta feed your family, you know, you could just have these, you know, for eggs, you know, which is the hens, you know, but they're really, really good, trust. They'll start calming down after 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, pretty much it's calm. So what I'm gonna do right now, 
I'm going to take my bird, okay, and I'm going to swish it around this water. I got this on low. Okay, you don't want to make it so hot where it cooks the skin, but this is going to help take the feathers off because I like the skin on, okay? And you're going to swish it around here. for about a good 20, 30 seconds, okay? All right. You know, and they're very hefty. Let me tell you something, at least two per person. I mean, cause trust me, as small as they are, they're really hefty, really, really hefty birds, okay? Then I'll show you how to do it without the water out for a good 30 seconds. Okay, and I have some vinegar in that water too. I just, anything with vinegar. Okay. All right. And I got some water running because it might be a little hot, but this should just come right off. This should come right off, just like that. Okay, I like to skin on with it. Okay, just take it off, it'll come right off, just like that. Not a problem. To rub that skin off, honey. Just like that. Comes right off. Okay, and um, this part right here, the tip of the, fret, I just pull it off just like that. Cause the, the wing part don't really have, you know, it's really doesn't have any meat, but I like it on there anyway. I think it's cute. Okay. Pull off all these feathers. One, two, three. Now I'm just gonna show you the other way you could do it, but I don't do it this way no more. But if you want, all you gotta do is go right here. And this will tear off just like this, right by the neck area. You could do it like that and just take that off. Just like this. It comes off like a coat. Okay. It's not difficult to come off. And this is why you should have a plastic um, bag so you could catch all of that. Work up under, pull that off. Comes off that easily. Okay. And I'm gonna show you how to, you could cut the wings off with this part, but again, I like to just put it in that water I'm gonna and cut this. this part off because the tips don't have no meat. They really don't. Okay. I hope you paid attention. You could always rewind that because I ain't going to do the others like that. All right, give it a little rinse. Uh. All right, now, from here guys, this is where I like to start. I like to 
Some people will cut it straight down the middle and have a spatchcock, which is like opening it up. But um, of course, we're gonna cut these points of the leg. So where the joint is like here, we're gonna cut that part off. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna show you, this is like where they like to store their food too, but all right, so this is what I do. I like to start right here under the chest part. Okay, and then I'm gonna start pulling out all the guts. And all my friends will probably be like, Jackie, really? But girl, okay, and just start pulling out. all the guts there's some heart in there and stuff if you like that you can eat that too but i like to make sure they're nice and clean get out all that stuff and i'm going to show you how to do it but i'm doing it with the skin on so i like to cut this little part right i'm going to cut the joint part See how I have my water ready, I mean my bowl ready, so I could put all the guts and stuff. I'll cut this little tail part off. That's what I do. And if you want to have them whole, all you do, cut that little under part and just stick your finger in there and pull out all the guts. Sometimes you'll find an egg starting to form in there. And all you do is just pull and pull it out. Pull out all the guts. You know, I like to do it like this because it's cute. I like it like this. Okay, I like to keep the neck on. That's me, you don't have to. And then start rinsing. Keep them whole like that. Just rinse out anything, pull anything out, because it's really nice, one, two, three. Okay, I like to just go in there and see if there's anything that's stuck in there. I'm going to be frying them. Again, you could keep them like this and cook them like this. Okay, you could take the neck off. You could cook them like this and roast them like this, which is, you know, and, and do it like that. But what I'm gonna do, cause I'm gonna fry them. Some people, they just go where the spine is and take out the whole spine, I don't do all that. What I do, I just go straight down the middle with a nice pair of sharp um, shears. Open them up like that. Yes, you can remove the neck part and uh, there you go. Rinse out anything. Okay, yes you can take the neck off because some of y'all probably like, take that neck off. So I'll do it with these, okay? Just like that. Okay and put it on your ice. Just like that, put it on your ice. Okay? Now, when you finish making the birds, my loves, if you want to freeze them, what you're gonna do, you could take them, put them in some Ziploc bags and freeze them, okay? Cause they'll, they could last good time in your freezer, like any other meat. Something like you would do chicken. Okay, I could hear some of y'all like ill, but baby, what you do when you eat chicken? Some people, if it's your vegetarian, do not watch this video. Please do not come on here and talk about, oh, that's such cruelty, especially when you eat chicken, okay? I know, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna finish doing these guys and I'll be back. Guys, you have to hold them. I would do it from the back so they won't see the scissors and so forth. Just get yourself a nice pair of shears and go through it. It's really quick. And you're gonna hold them from, you're gonna feel them 
flapping in your arms, in your hand and stuff like that, but you got to hold them. That's just the nerves, okay? And hold it until you feel them not moving no more. You ain't going to feel their heart and stuff like that, okay? Okay, you see it, you know, hold it, hold it tight. Just the heart. That's just the nerves. Okay. So, hot water, and I'm gonna switch this around for about 20 to 30 seconds. And this is how I like to do it this way because I like it. it looks neater to me and I like the skin. Okay. All right. And take a little and just, and it comes off. That, that, that will come right off. The feathers, everything. Yes, my loves. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos and so forth. And also press that thumbs up, guys. We want to push this video, get that algorithm going, let everybody see this video. And don't forget to let everybody know about Jackie's cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna cut above, below that, that joint area, right here. See? I just think it's cuter when I, when I eat them like this. It looks like a small chicken. Okay, and right here, I'm gonna cut that little tail part off. I do a little slit right there with my shears. And I'm just gonna reach in and pull anything out. All the guts and stuff. Could keep them like that. Or I'll cut it straight down the back. Cause I'm gonna um, fry them this time. You could braise them, I've done them braised. Baby, oh, this is so good. You give it another little rinse. Take out anything here. Okay and put them right in your ice. All right, my loves. So, I hope this video was very informative, guys. Um, there's gonna be a part two to this on how to cook quail, on um, how to fry some delicious quail. Um, please look out for all my other videos. And guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe and let everybody know that Jackie's cooking. So guys, um, again, there'll be a part two to this on how to fry some quail, okay? So guys, I need you to do three things for me, and that is eat, love, and pray. Until next time.